know what to do, man. Yours truly, Big Stewie, checking in, man. Trapping out the trap house, man. I got to, hope my mama calls me. Had to sit down with my dog, man. Jordan Ward is in the building. What's up, man? What's up, my brother? Good so, day. what's crazy is that you're from, we're from the same area, man. From St. Louis, man. What was it like growing up in St. Louis for you? Because it was kind of shitty for me. Growing up in St. Louis, man. Not really shitty, but, you know, you, yeah. I mean, St. Louis is like, it's tough. Yeah, it's tough, but I had a great childhood, man. I was a single child, single parent. Um, I grew up in musical theater. I went to church. I'm not like religious, right. but I, I grew up going to church and I feel like that was great for me. Right. Um, it, it's, it is a tough city, but it's fun, man. I, I love it. Let's talk about your story, man. Like even getting up out of St. Louis is kind of difficult because like we were talking earlier, like Nelly is definitely a legend in St. Louis. Yeah. And like he doesn't even, does he know you rap? Does he, ever, has he heard of you? I'm gonna have to put him down. Man, it's so Cause many- Cause slide, man. Thank you, man. There's so many talented people out there. It's like, I'm sure it's hard to keep track of, like, who's doing what, you know what I mean? But, yeah, man, it's it's a lot of talent, but it's not always the most resources and opportunity right. coming. Um, but I think that's, I think it's changing over time, man. You starting to, we were just talking about it. You starting to see a lot more artists um, coming up out of there and, mm. and honestly making a real scene there right. for the next generation, so. And it's pretty dope because, like, your music is, like, it transcends with this, this crazy vibe, like, White Crocs. Yeah. White Crocs. What, what, tell me about White Crocs. What, what's White Crocs for you? Man, so White Crocs, we made that on some mushrooms. <laughs> that was produced by my bro Lito. <laughs> and I just walked in. I was just like, yo, I want to do some Mr. Me Too type mm. vibe. You know, we was listening to a lot of Pharrell, a lot of clips. And um, it was just a super quick, fast song. Um, I was wearing a lot of White Crocs. Some girls, you pull up in the loafs. <laughs> Some girls you pull up in the Crocs. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? What, what determines? Well, you know, this is a little harder to get out, in and out of. So if I'm pulling up in these, I might be staying for a while. Okay. You know? But if I got the Crocs, that means I'm about to. You in and out. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me slide. I got shit to do. You know what I'm saying? So, um, <laughs> but honestly, we just dropped a documentary today called The Forward Doc, and it's in there. Like, mm. you could just see, like, the whole flow. I was wearing the white Crocs. We was about to pull, and. It was spontaneous, but produced by my bro Lito. So. Okay. So what's your vibe like? Because like I said, like it's really like, I don't know, man. Like, it's a, it's a, like what musically, like what who are your people that you looked up to, like yeah. growing up? Because like you have, like I said, like if you haven't heard about this man, like you sliding, bro. Thank you, man. It's a real good vibe, like an anytime vibe, summertime vibe, real feel feel good music. So where did you get your like like your inspiration from? For sure. Well. I mean, I'm from St. Louis, right. so you know, that's a music city right there. You know, our our, our hockey team is the Blues, St. Right. Louis Blues. So, just growing up around that, I feel like I was always very musically conscious. And then, growing up in the gospel, um, growing up around gospel music, my mom is a singer. You know, so she was singing with four different churches when I was a kid. You know what I mean? So, before I had my own thing going on, that's what was going on around me. And then, you know, you had my us, my my cousins and uncles. Listening to, you know, Jeezy, mm. Wayne, Boosie, Webby, you know, Luda. That's what's going on around early around me. And then when I started getting into uh, my own iPod, mm. you know, in grade school and stuff, I was listening to a lot of Nas, Pac, Big, Wayne. You know, I grew up in the era of the real mixtape yeah. era. You know what I mean? When you, you go to school and they, they really got a booklet. CDs. With the, with the drought is over, you oh, know. Yeah. And you don't know what you're going to get, but you're just going to pay the dollar. So... I grew up on that, and then I grew up uh, doing musical theater and dance and dance competitions. So I, I grew up dancing with kids that lived in the suburbs, mm. you know what I mean? So I was listening to, like, Dave Matthews Band and, like, mm. The Fray and, like, Sigur Rose and okay. Kings of Leon Kings and, of like, Leon. Demi Lovato. You know what I'm saying? I was so, a Linkin Park fan. Bro, you know what I mean? So I, I was listening to everything, you um, know? And now I I've been living in L.A. for the past 10 years, so... Definitely influenced by like a lot of the stuff going on out there, the West Coast energy, the in, the indie vibes, the R and B soulful vibes. I grew up a lot on neo soul, Lauren Hill, Erica Badu, Stevie Wonder. And then you dance too. Like yeah. I don't, I think people don't understand like how big the dance scene is in St. Louis. Like a lot of your favorite artists, big artists, yes. national artists, are choreographed by St. Louis cats. Like John Silver is dancing with Usher and John Silver. Yeah, John Silver. Um, Rio, yeah. Cliff, um, you know, Rio, uh, Rio actually put me on Usher a couple years back, and that was a dream come true. Um, 
my mentor, Red Williams, that's what mentored me and like brought me into the game. Um, you got Flex. You got so many people. Jamaica Craft. Right. You know, um, yeah, the, the dance scene is huge. And honestly, the dance scene there is responsible for really giving me my first sense of pride from being mm. in St. Louis, you know, because it's a lot of negativity. Come on up. Mar like, pushed on to the idea of being from St. Louis and meeting dancers who was like, no, I, I dance for Janet Jackson. Mm. I'm from St. Louis. You Come know on. what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm from the crib. I'm from mm. the South. That gave me, like, a, a sense of pride to be like, I am from St. Louis and now, you know. So, yeah, and there's a whole generation of dancers now, new kids that are going from the conventions to the jobs and now they touring and now they doing more than I ever did. So it's crazy. So I, I got to catch up on your music. If, if nobody has heard of you and they and they fresh on you, like what songs do we have to go back to to make sure we tap it in and, we, and I become a fan? Yeah. Like what songs do I need to go back to? Well, we dropped this album this year, my debut album. Mm. It's called Forward, Four Ward. Okay. I'm Jordan Ward, so it's for the family. It's Four Ward, my fourth project. It's a forward in the story as my debut album. Come on up. And it's Four Ward, it's for the family. Um, like you said, White Crocs. We got another single called Fam Jam 4000. Make sure y'all go tap in with that. Fam Jam 4000. You got Sidekick featuring Joyce Rice. You got 311 featuring Gwen Bunn. Shout out Gwen Bunn from Georgia. Mm -hmm. Shout out Gwen Bunn. Um, shout out also Ryan Trey okay. from St. Louis. And um, man, just check out the album. And we got more stuff on the way. So ideally, what artists do you do like you feel like you want to tap in with? Like, what's your ideal? Like, I have to do a song with it before this is over. Or her. Erica Badu. Come on now. Stevie Wonder. Stevie? Pharrell. You gonna go back to Stevie though. Yes. Yes, Stevie. Nelly. Gotta do Nelly. Gotta that's, do that's Nelly. A must. Man. That's because it's from the crib. Wiz, Wiz Khalifa. Come on now. Um, Erica Badu, why Erica? What? I just wonder what you said. Because to me, she's just like, she's the ultimate. Mm -hmm. She's the original. You know, I feel like so much of what shapes the thought of like my generation, you know, we laugh at stuff like being woke and mm -hmm. you know, that's like a overblown thing now. But she really was one of the first artists of my upbringing to like make me look at the world a different way, made me look at myself a different way. Right. And just one of those artists that I try to, not try to be like, I consider myself like, even though we sing, we still hip hop artists. Mm. I'm not rapping, I'm not like a rapper, but I still make hip hop music. Right. I still come from that, from that world and I feel like no matter what she does, whether it's soul, R&B, alternative, pop, electro, you still feel that culture, you still feel this hip hop, like you still nod your head to it and you still walk away from it with something. Mm. So. Erica Badu for sure. Come on now. Frank What's Ocean. A, Frank, come on now. What does a Jordan War show look like? You on stage? What does that show? Cause you dance too, so it's like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, it's just, it's different entertainment when you yeah. can dance and you can sing. Like, thank God. I mean, well, <laughs> by the grace of God, man. Right now, the Jordan War show is looking sold out. Come on now. They all sold out. Tour it. If you're not at this one, come to the next one, man. Shout out all the fans about the tickets. We about to do a sold out, sold out show in Atlanta mm. at Al Five in two days. But other than that, man, it's, I'm screaming, I'm jumping, I'm singing, I'm hitting notes. It's weed smoke in the air. Come on now. It's vibes. My DJ, Kato, he's, he's hitting dance moves with me. We throwing merch out to the booth. I'm singing and reaching and grabbing air. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this a bunch in the crowd. And um, it's vibes. You never know what you're going to get. I might have a wig. You never know. I might a have wig, a wig, I've had a wig. I've had a cheese head on stage. You just never, being yourself, just being, why, why not? Why not, bro? Why the fuck I'm not? from St. Louis, bro. Why the fuck not, you know man? So I do I need to be on shrooms or do I need oh, to yeah. be on marijuana? Which one? Both of them? I don't think I can do both. Whatever makes you feel safe. Okay. If you can rock with the shrooms, rock with the shrooms. If you can smoke, if you can be sober and still vibe, be sober. So I'm definitely going to be at the show. I need to make sure I get, Oh yeah. I, I need we to got experience you. that. We got you on the list and all that. Plus one. Oh yeah, got gotcha, it. Gotta gotcha, bring gotcha. young lady with me. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You need that for yes, sure. Definitely. Or whatever you know. However, wherever you. Or do I need with. to come along? Like, oh no, no, no. I'm saying vibe. whatever, whatever you need, comfortable. I'm just trying to see what the girls looking like. There. Oh yeah, oh oh. That goes without saying. I might need to come along. That go, that's why I sold out so fast. <laughs> that's hard. You know what I'm saying? But definitely, man. Congratulations on everything you got going on. Let them know your Instagram. You know what I'm saying? How to contact you again. Man, Jordan Ward at Jordan Ward J O R D A N W A R D. JordanAlexWard.com. Tickets on sale there right now. Album Forward. 
Um, shout out my DJ Kato. Shout out my videographer Ray. Shout out Artium. Shout out Interscope, shout out the whole gango, shout out St. Louis. Come my on, man Jay Nix, yeah, number yeah. one in the market. Come on, man. But it's play. big St. Louis, bro. <laughs> no matter where you put us, we going up. We going up. We going up. You got the hustle in the St. Louis, man. Yes, sir. You got us for that hustle. But I'm definitely coming to the show, man. Definitely salute to you and everything you're doing. I'm I'm proud, like happy. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Man. Just for even for the way your music is. Like this show something different in St. Louis. Like we said, there's so much negativity coming out of there and you having that positive vibe and just being different is amazing. So Thank definitely you, salute man. you and I can't wait to see your show and then you gotta come back to the market and rock with oh, your yeah. boy every time you're in Atlanta, period. Oh, yeah. I got to take you to Magic City. Oh, yeah. Y'all got to play that white crux. Come on. We got to do that. Yeah. For sure. For, for sure, man. Up. It's going down at Trap It Out Trap House. Jordan Warrior, Shooter, Big Stewie. Yes, Lord. Get it.